Hi, this is Pawan and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, we'll take a look at the chords and strumming pattern for the song Hum Be Wafa from the film Shalimar. I've got a lot of requests for this uh, song and it's a beautiful number, uh, sung by Kishore Da, music was by Ardi Manman. Uh, very simple and interesting strumming pattern and I'm sure you're going to like it. So let's get on with it. Now let's check out the chords for the song. The song is in the key of D sharp major. If you're using bar chords, you'll be needing these chords, D sharp major, G sharp major, C sharp major. You will also need C minor and you will need A sharp minor. And if you want to play with open chords, put a capo here in the first fret and play in the key of D major. So the chords will be D major instead of D sharp major, G major instead of G sharp major, C major instead of C sharp major, B minor instead of C minor, and A minor instead of A sharp minor. Now let's check out the strumming pattern of the song. This is how it sounds uh, in the original track. Uh, if you want to keep it simple, you could play something just like this. Let me show you some steps by which you can learn to play this pattern. First, let's play eight strokes, four down and four up alternating, uh, putting stress on the first uh, stroke, uh, which is a down stroke. I'll try and play this slowly so you can play it along with me. Uh, so let's play it in D sharp major. Now let's add stress on stroke number four, which is an up stroke. Uh, and again, I'll play it very slowly so you can play it along with me. And now let's put stress on stroke number seven and mute it as well. So it'll sound something like this. And now if you want to play a little more closer to the original pattern, you'll have to mute stroke number two, which is an up stroke. So basically you're pasting stress on strokes one, uh, which is a down stroke, four, which is an up stroke. You're placing stress and muting stroke number seven, and you're muting stroke number two. So a little tricky. If you're not able to get to this, you can stay with the patterns that I've shown earlier, but this is how it's going to sound. I'll play it slowly for you and gradually increase the speed so you can play along with me. So here goes in D sharp major.
thank you for watching my lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, uh, do send me your questions and comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And see you again soon.